Right, so I've got a Smev 9222 um, hob and sink. I've got the water plumbed in. Um, there's no water in the moment, but that's all working. So I'm going to tackle the, the gas side of things now. I hold no responsibility if anyone decides in their stupidity to go ahead and do this themselves uh, and end up killing themselves. Um, obviously you are working with gas is is a dangerous thing um, I have a few few things in place to ensure my own safety um, I will be getting it certified afterwards getting it all checked to make sure it does conform to the safety standard um, I have also got a carbon monoxide detector uh, along with a fire alarm in in the van um, a few other things I am using oh, it's a torch a few other things I am using is uh, a sniffer um, to sniff for leaks on the system once I've got it all fixed. Um, this will let me know if I've got any le leaks on the gas system. Um, so I have looked online, um, YouTube, various places for um, input, and I see it cropping up time and time again on how to in how to install um, the gas system. Now like I say this is not a, a be all and end all. This isn't to the T how you do it. Um, I'm just going to basically talk you through how I'm doing it, my way, um, where I've got the bits from and piece, bits and pieces. Now you can buy um, complete gas installation kits. Some hobs and smev systems um, come with with everything you need to, to plumb in it. I did get the water. Um, this is only rough setup, by the way. Uh, excuse the state. Um, my system came with um, the water containers, the pump, pipes, switch and tap. They didn't give me the, the gas gas side of things. They were out of stock at the time. Um, so, I mean, after a lot of searching around, I went to Screwfix. Um, got 10 metres of 8mm diameter flexible copper pipe. Um, I think that cost me 12 quid or something. Um, a few other bits I got are... Um, So I've got a compression fitting, which I've got little olives inside. Um, basically one end goes on to the end of the copper pipe. The other end, if can goes on to that end there um, of the hob system. Um, obviously it does up. Um, does up tight. Um, some people use PTFE tape, some people use a sealing compound. Um, I have been told under good and good authority by plumbers and gas safe registered people that you don't need to use PTFE tape um, or any type of dressing on it. Um, but obviously just to double check you get correct sealing on, on that. Um, again, the second one, second fitting I got is Basically a compression end fitting again with nollib in it, which goes on the end of the gas pipe. And then on this, I'm going to be running off a flexible hose, something like that, which will then jubilee clip onto that set that end, which then go down to a regulator. This is just for my um, this is just for illustration purposes. My one hasn't actually arrived yet through the post. This is just a little barbecue, just to show you sort of the setup. Um, now the reason why I'm running copper pipe from the hob all the way through to the back locker where the gas canister is um, is because obviously you want it solid, rigid um, and to conform with DVLA um, it's got to be fixed to the body, the pipe has got to be fixed for safety reasons as well. And then once it gets down to where the gas bottle will be located that's when you'll have this flexible hose. Now obviously the flexible hose is a lot more forgiving, moving, disconnecting, moving, disconnecting. So. If that was straight off of that onto a regulator or straight off of that onto the bottle, the, the pipe, the hose, um, the copper pipe in, then obviously it would sort of bend and become weak over time. Um, not just that, but obviously as as and when this pipe, pipe perishes, obviously it does um, have a, a lifespan on it. I can um, replace this um, as and when and obviously keep up to date with the, the new modern uh, regulators when they come about. Some people fit a bulkhead regulator, some people have to clip on. Um, gas bottle ones. As far as I'm aware, as long as you're not renting out or um, hiring out your your camper van, um, there's no legal obligation to have the bulkhead 
um, type regulator. I have opted for the bulkhead type regulator. So this will basically, my copper tube will run down to that at, at some point, a later date. Um, yeah, so got them bits. While I was at screw fix, I also decided I was gonna get a little shut off valve um, just to go on to the copper tubing, copper pipe, sorry. Um, just so I can have an extra added security that if um, I'm on site, on, on a campsite, and um, the gas bottle is switched on for the gas for the hob, I can have a safety valve up in here out of reach, which I can turn it off. So if the young, either of the young youngsters decide to come along and mess around with this, I've got a fail safe knowing I've switched it off under, under the cabinet there, and that they're not going to gas themselves out. So to speak, safety first, you know, kids will mess around with, with stuff that they shouldn't be. Um, the only other thing I bought when I was at Screw Fix is this little pity if it gets out of the box. It's just a pipe cutter, relatively inexpensive, just to ensure that actually, uh, you get nice clean cuts on the piping and that um, it's straight. The key with the compression fittings with these ends is that you've got a straight cut in a pipe so when it butts up, that's how the olive seals it needs to be straight. I mean, some people use a little hacksaw, um, just buy the bullet, I think this was like six quid, get a clean cut, um, no sharp jagged jag edges, everything's done properly. Uh, yeah, I mean, the bottle, when I got the bottle stored, I haven't got to that, I'm going to say just a quick rough sort of mock-up. When I get to where the gas bottle is going to be stored, um, it is going to be in a gas locker um, to ensure to ensure that it's safe. Um, it's got a vent to the outside. Um, the gas bottle will be secured as well, so it doesn't move and rattle around uh, on, um, and cause itself any, any hassle or danger. Um, yeah, so I'll get ahead and uh, start measuring up the pipe, get it all prepped, ready to go, and um, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 